hunt. And a countering mother told WHIO TV tonight that a man tried to kidnap her two children outside of her home. Soraya Harrison said this happened near Bigger and East David Road. She said the man walked across the street and began talking to her girls. But they were enjoying the view. Um, that was when he proceeded to grab my five-year-old's arm um, and my seven-year-old stepped in between them. Um, and then he proceeded to grab her arm. Harrison said her kids ran inside and she followed the man taking pictures of him. Kettering police say they've identified the man and he is now being questioned. Family and high school students spent some of their time today helping the community. For 10 years, Serve Arcanum has been giving high schoolers the opportunity to help out in a variety of ways. They completed more than 650 projects over the years, including painting and landscaping. This year, about 275 students volunteered their time. This feels so good that people appreciate what we do for them. And this is our opportunity, one of our opportunities during the school year to go out and help our community, to serve our community, to say thank you for all the, the support that they give to us. The principal says that they want our Canham students to graduate with an idea of what service actually is. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist McCall Brydags. Well, I know that you're going to talk about the rain in a minute, but mm -hmm. first, something interesting happened in Ohio today. Yes, something that doesn't happen too often. It does happen from time to time. Um, but earlier this evening, there was actually an earthquake just for north up in Toledo at 817 this evening. There was a 2.6 magnitude quake that occurred right near Toledo, Toledo. Now, the depth of that quake was about six and a half kilometers down. Enough that it did cause some shaking, and in fact, the ODOT camera that's up in the Toledo area pictured, or actually captured, the earthquake. You'll see in just a second or two, oh, there was that little shake from uh, the earthquake that occurred earlier this evening. I think it's going to do another loop here. If you keep an eye on that, it's going to shake. There it is. That was the earthquake that we did see in the northern part of the state. I haven't heard of any damage from that quake. Uh, but something neat to see, especially when you can capture it on camera. Speaking of cameras, I'll take you back closer to home in the Miami Valley. We do have rain in some parts of our viewing area, and other parts are still dry. Take a look at Troy. Wet streets there. Rain is coming down. Same in Greenville. But head into Clark County and Springfield. We have dry roadways and also dry in Greene County in Xenia. That's because the front has not reached you, but it will in just about an hour or so. Here's Live Doppler 7 radar. We have heavy rain falling from Bell Fountain through Shelby County back into southwestern parts of the viewing area. Let me take you in closer where we have some of the heaviest of the rain just to the east of the airport, north of downtown Dayton. East of Troy, we have some heavier downpours, but even some moderate rain coming in across I-75, and that stretches up into Logan County near Bell Fountain. Dry in Springboro, Lebanon, Xenia, South side of Montgomery County is dry, but then back to the west there comes the rain from Preble County and Dark County moving back in. We do have this cold front that's sliding through. Temperatures ahead of that front are still in the 60s, but will be cooling to the 50s by tomorrow morning. This rain will still be around by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., only a sliver of those showers left over southeast. Sunshine breaking out for Salina and Wapakoneta. Everyone sees the sunshine, though, as we finish up the day tomorrow, and we keep the sunshine right on through your Sunday forecast as well. Now, the temperatures will be impacted by this front. We only get to about 68 degrees tomorrow afternoon, but then we warm to the mid-70s on Sunday, and that temperature just continues to climb. Our 10-day outlook shows by Wednesday we're in the low 80s, and we stay that way right on through next weekend. Look at Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. This is your Memorial Day weekend. We are going to feel like summer for the first unofficial weekend of summer. Plus, our precipitation chances look like we have a better chance to stay dry than to see rain. So right now, it looks like we are in for a great holiday weekend next weekend. But even before we get there, we've got some great weather for you. Lots of sunshine and highs in the 80s through next Friday. Thank you, McCall. Well, people from all over the world will be in Green County this weekend. They're here.